Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is doing well. So we are going to do an ancestor message. We're gonna see what the ancestors want you to know, what they need you to know currently. If that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and stick around. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have all the information that you would need to know. Yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and stick around. Thank you. If you are returning, welcome back, Gemini. I hope that you're well, hope you're taking care of yourself. Hope you're doing what's best for you, okay? Thank you guys for all the support that y'all give. Y'all are amazing, truly. I love you guys. You'll never truly know how much you guys mean to me, but I, I will continuously try to tell you, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and move forward and get into this. So what do the ancestors want Gemini to know? I'm instantly seeing bluebirds, redbirds. You know, I feel like they give you the typical signs, and that's the consistency that we like. You know, we like consistency. We want consistency in people, places, and things. So it would make sense that our ancestors would give us consistency with the signs. You know that this is a certain ancestor when you see a red bird because it comes every single morning and it sits on your porch and it tweedles at you or whatever, okay? Um, you know that that distant ringing that you hear in the sound is this ancestor warning you of something because they've done it since you were a little girl slash boy, okay? Um, there's just this energy here of like you have a close connection with your ancestors, okay? And so you know when your ancestors are speaking to you. I don't know why this is significant. Maybe because they help you with your decisions that you need to make. Your ancestors might see that you're at some kind of crossroads right now. It's interesting because I'm staring off in the distance just at the trees that's by this window here. And there looks like a branch that almost looks like an arm, like the strength arm. I don't know. It kind of looks like it. I don't know. It's looking like the strength arm. Maybe your ancestors want you to know how strong you are, for you to remember how strong you are, to not forget these uh, lessons that you've learned and all that you've accomplished. Know that each level that we go through in life, we have to meet a new big bad boss that we got to slay, just like a video game, right? And it might when you first get to this, it might really intimidate you, but don't forget all the lessons that you've learned just because you come to another another big bad boss, right? Which for you, Gemini, could be like being at the crossroads, okay? Feeling like you need to make a decision. Um, <clears throat> some of you are, there's this energy of possibly indulgence or being in darkness or having a choice to do these things, having a choice to indulge, having a choice to be in darkness, having a choice to kind of um, maybe take a different path than what you, you know, it's like you have several options. Maybe you could go down the path of darkness, you could go down the path of light, or maybe you could go down some kind of path that's like a melding of both of them, a duality, and maybe that's where you're at in life. Like, where am I? Who am I? Am I this dark person? Am I this dark thing? Am I this light person, this light thing? Or am I some kind of weird freakish mixture of both? I kind of honestly feel like if this was me and I could resonate with this, um, which I've had these thoughts before, so yeah, I guess I could resonate with this, I would feel like I'm some kind of weird freakish mixture of both. Even though some people would definitely say I'm either one or the other, depending on the story and depending on the situation we had together. Because this and that are true. Some people would definitely say I'm of the dark and some people would say I'm of the light. And this and that are true, depending on what time frame, what Jessica they met, <laughs> what time I was at in my life, because I evolve, I change. My core stays the same. I'm always this person, you know? I'm always this, but it's like, I can go off on different paths, I can choose. And I feel like you can too, Gemini. I mean, your ancestors want you to know this and they're proud of you, you know, because I feel like you have stayed on the straight and narrow. You've tried to heal some things, you tried to fix some things. You've, there's definitely this energy of sage. So this could mean several things, but they're showing me the burning sage. So this could be cleansing your energy. You've cleansed a lot, but also sage to me talks about wisdom. Wisdom that comes from experience, right? And your ancestors leave these choices up to you. They leave it up to you. I mean, obviously you have free will anyways, but they leave it up to you to make these pivotal decisions because you have to be the one that creates your reality, Gemini, right? Okay. Some of you guys could definitely be seeing the signs. Signs cautioning you, signs leading you, like I was saying. And maybe there are some signs right now that maybe, you know, you're walking down. I feel like there is this need to stay like balanced here and not lean on one or the other too much, you know? 
when I had a mentor, long, mentor, excuse me, long, long ago, like last year, sometime, um, she did tell me when she first did an assessment of me and read my energy and everything, she told me that I seemed like I was very much in the 5D a lot or my, I was very floaty, like my upper chakras were really lit. You know, the ones connected to spirit, the ones connected to intuition, all that. But then like the more physical ones that ground me were kind of duller because I was living so much in the spiritual, like, you know, and I needed to bring myself back down to earth almost, which is so ironic considering my journey. Anyways, this is not about me, but it's, it's making me feel that, guys. So I'm sorry if I go off on tangents about my own personal stuff because it's just when they give me things that relate, it makes me feel like you guys are going through something similar, okay? All right, what do we have? What else do we have for Gemini? What do the ancestors need Gemini to know? This feels like it's going to be a deeper reading, guys, which as per usual with the ancestors. The Hawk Energy, which is a card that does represent spirit for me directly spirit guides ancestors spirit itself okay um but the hawk energy is also my main spiritual guide for um, animals i feel like what it always is trying to tell me when i see the hawk is to look at something from a higher perspective in my life look at it from the view of my spirit guides or the view of my ancestors or spirit my itself if i could grasp that perspective of spirit like if I could try to obtain that perspective of spirit, because I feel like spirit has a perspective that is completely different to a human perspective. I feel like our guides, our ancestors have a perspective that's completely different. I feel like they can, the, more, the closer they have been to human, the more they can relate. Except for when we're talking about spirit. Sorry if I'm complicating things for you guys, but I feel like spirit understands all. But I feel like ancestors understand us the most because they were in the flesh the most recent. Spirit guides, who knows how long, if ever, angels never incarnated in the flesh. It's hard to understand the human plight. You see what I'm saying? And have that empathy unless you've lived it. Spirit, of course, knows all, understands all, feels all, is all. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's that tear. So, I don't know where I'm going with that, guys. Ooh, stay on track. What do we have? What are the ancestors? Because I feel like this is really deep energy. I feel like they're watching. I feel like you have some kind of opportunity that's coming your way or message here. There is some kind of choice. There is something here that's coming up that you're going to have to make a decision about. They are wanting you to look at something in a higher perspective when this opportunity comes in from a distance. Spiritual warfare will be activated. This doesn't necessarily mean there's demons and things trying to attack you. It's more for me with spiritual warfare. If you've been watching me long enough, you know it's you attacking yourself most of the time. You fighting yourself. Whether or not I'm going to do what I feel the world slash this, that, whatever wants, or am I going to stand on my own authenticity, especially when it comes to um, making a choice, or it can be, am I going to keep my standards, my own personal convictions, and if my own personal convictions are changing, am I going to change then my choices and my reality to match? Or am I still going to live a lie, but have my convictions inside be different? Like, am I living the life that I feel like I want to live? That's kind of the energy I'm getting here. Am I making the choices that I feel like are the right choices? Um, not just like by societal standards or what you feel like would be morally correct, even though that can sometimes match, but what is standing in your authenticity? Because sometimes we are people pleasers. <laughs> point blank period okay we're people pleasers we want to please everybody so our ancestors you know they know because they were in the flesh these were some of their you know i hate to say curses i like to say cycles that they kind of left for us to break the cycles of going along to get along people pleasing letting traditionalism and um, societal standards and rules and the thoughts and opinions of others dictate us a lot of our ancestors had spiritual gifts and you know some of our ancestors did live in their authenticity of course right of course sorry guys of course they did but some of our ancestors didn't and some of these were more recent ancestors like that maybe you had alive during you know the life that you're currently living so like aunts and uncles and grandmothers and stuff that you know had a gift but didn't really do anything with it or you know wanted to have this business or have this great idea or did, wanted to do have these things happen but instead they chose this path like you've seen these cycles within your own ancestral line is what i'm getting here okay so these are the cycles that have been left behind for you the chosen one to decide what path am i going to go down 
you know what am i going to choose for myself and that's what the, your ancestors want for you your ancestors want you to choose what you want for yourself because they know that as a chosen one your your higher self is going to lead you towards the legacy period so there's no way that they that you what you want for yourself authentically inside could be the wrong choice you see what i'm saying so your ancestors they support you is really what I'm getting. Let's start clarifying because it feels like it's getting long. <clears throat> crossroads. Why is this here for what the ancestors want him and I know? Obviously, you're at some kind of crossroads right now. You're needing to make some kind of choice here. I feel like there's going to be an opportunity that possibly comes your way and you're going to need to make this decision. Now, this opportunity could have taken a long time to get here. Um... And now that it's here, I don't know why there's almost this feeling of like, now that it's here, now you need to take it and now you're paused. Like there could be this energy of you wanted something so bad and then when it showed up in your life, you're like, whoa, now I need to hold on and I need to think about it, right? Some of you have been stuck in a, in a moment of like isolation or pause. I don't wanna say you're like sad or remorseful or like depressed. Some of you could be for sure, but I'm getting this energy of like, thinking about the past and regretting choices that you've made some of you could be feeling like that like am i on the right path am i where i'm supposed to be i feel like a lot of you have tried to pull out of this energy and you've you know went inside to seek this guidance of i don't know learning the lessons that's what it feels like right I feel like you're growing, you're very abundant, you're very fertile right now, and not just, I mean, some of you could be um, possibly getting pregnant or having children, but it feels like fertile as in you're very, uh, you're manifesting abilities right now. They're popping, basically, okay? You could manifest anything you want right now, and I feel like that's why your opportunity is finding you. It's almost like you're at a standstill trying to decide what path you want to go on, and while you're there, they're like, oh, <laughs> They're there. We found them. We locked them down. Now we can go here. We can give them all these opportunities. It feels like people have been searching for you energetically, maybe even in the reality, looking for you to give you an opportunity. And now that you're at this point, like where you're at some kind of look, now you're at this point where you're at some kind of standstill or you're making a decision within your own life or within your own self. All these opportunities are waiting for you to make this decision. Like, what, where are you going to go? Are you going to go this way? Are you going to go that way? I don't know, Gemini. That's kind of what it feels like for some of you. And if you're not in this energy now, the ancestors might want you to know that this is what's about to happen. You're about to be at a pause or a standstill or at this crossroads because several opportunities are going to come in at once. <clears throat> some of these opportunities are going to kind of happen upon yourself. Yeah, and you're going to have to choose. Duh! right some of these some of these opportunities are going to you're going to come upon them yourself and then others of them they're going to come towards you so you know you you find opportunities as you go along on your journey okay as you express yourself as you practice on your skills and you take up certain hobbies and you get certain side gigs and stuff that's like acquiring opportunities as you go but then some opportunities they come into your life you weren't seeking them right so we have the four of cups here and this is talking about you, yes, needing to make the tough choices. It feels like he can only choose so many. That's what I'm getting with this card today. It feels like he can only choose so many. He can't take all of them. He's got to take the most specialist ones. This guy knows he's not going to get chosen <laughs> because this is the most simple. But sometimes simple is good. Okay. I don't know. There is that energy here, Gemini. Make sure that you, ha you, there's a message there. Make sure with these um, opportunities that are coming, you don't take all the flashy ones just because they're flashy, just because they look like they could, you know, follow your intuition here because it is going to be like uh, leading you and guiding you here. Maybe the more, the, the opportunity that doesn't look like it, it would be the easiest or doesn't look like it would give you what these other flashy opportunities could maybe that's the actual opportunity because there always is that energy of the fourth cup being the cup from spirit right with the traditional four of cups so maybe this innocence this little boy here is representing spirit i don't know gemini just know while you're at this pause making all these choices while you're away right while the cat's away, the mice will play, as they say. I don't know, that's backwards for me with this, but that's what it looks like. It looks like people around you might be, you know, there's things around you going on too. 
that are affecting things that you're not noticing because you're very immersed in making these decisions because you do have more than one opportunity coming your way or has came your way and you do feel like there is an internal pull and you have no choice you are at a spiritual standstill is what I'm getting. That's what they're saying. Nothing will grow. Nothing will go. I mean, it'll stay. It'll maintain, basically. You're going to maintain the energy that you have now. So if you're wanting to expand, if you're wanting more, there must be a choice. That's what they're saying. Okay? All right. So what is this hawk for Gemini? For what the ancestors want Gemini to know? And yes, again, this can talk about your higher perspective. Even to see things from that hawk eye point of view. Okay? Also, there might be a need to look at the finer details. I don't normally get that with the hawk, but they're showing me the hawk flying and its vision zooming in on like a field mouse. Like they can spot a field mouse from like hundreds of miles away or some crap. They have incredibly accurate and very good um, vision, right? So it's like maybe you need to make sure you're looking clearly at everything and that you're using your vision and not just your physical eyes, but your spiritual eyes to make your decisions, which we see over here anyways with this energy. What is this hawk? Yeah, you need to look at things from a higher perspective. Oh my gosh. I'm going to turn off the ringer. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you need to look at things from a higher perspective, Gemini, is the energy that I'm getting here. Okay? With the Five of Wands here, the Page of uh, Pentacles, for some of you guys, there could be people that are watching you like a hawk, waiting for you to mess up. Gemini I can I can see that okay um for others of you I'm getting this energy here of being at a, a, a almost having this competition or, or this anxiety within yourself like competing with yourself over what choices you need to make okay but I do feel like what this is saying your ancestors are saying is you need to watch yourself there's people around you who I feel like have set traps for you and some of these have backfired Gemini. A lot of their own shit is starting to bubble over and they are fighting with amongst themselves. Even their ancestors are, you know, <laughs> bitching with each other back and forth, right? I'm getting that very strongly. Some of you guys might get ringing in your ear for confirmation with that, okay? But I'm getting very strongly that yes, traps have been set for you and for some reason, for some reason, they backfired and these people don't understand that. I feel like it's because spirit has protected you, your ancestors have protected you, but you need to understand that while you're on your journey. There is gonna be static, there is gonna be people who, you know, have problems with you, wanna kinda, you know, try to cause these towers within your life. I feel like the towers have been caused within their life and you're still sitting here strong. Okay, Gemini? Your ancestors might just want you to know that they're they're continuing to do their part. They just might want you to know that, <laughs> right? I don't know. Because with the hawk, like I said, this can be spiritual energy. This can be, you know, spiritual messengers and ancestors and guides and stuff. And they might be looking out for you while you're on your journey, enhancing your abilities and your gifts. And you're just, you know, starting out here really for a lot of you, Gemini, you need to understand that. A lot of you are just starting out on your journey. You might be like the Jessica. I'm like 40 something. Well, you got a lot more to go, boo. Right? And I'm hearing um, seats taken, spots reserved, or whatever. I'm getting the RSVP type of energy for your next lifetime. Like, you're already going to be the chosen one. So that, see, that spot's already taken. <laughs> like, you will be the next chosen one, too. You're the chosen one now. You're going to be the chosen one the next time around, too. So, you know, I don't know. Take it as it resonates, right? But some of you need to understand that. You're going to always have eyes on you right spiritual eyes physical eyes that's just how it's gonna work what is this five of wands real fast it's conflict there's one gemini to know about yeah i feel like people are also and see that was something i was going to mention too this tower that's in the background of this card we saw the tower on the bottom of the deck for this with the five of uh wands here Somebody wants to take your tower that you've built up for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and assume this is his tower. It's his stability. And they're trying to find ways to disrupt it, but they're not finding the ways or they're getting blocked or they're, so now they're fighting amongst each other. Like their vibe's not the same. Okay. At all. And you're, you're here. You're still fine. Like that's what all this argument, this drama, this chaos around you. That's what your ancestors are watching, what they're making sure that they're doing to protect you. That's what it's all about. Because people see you satisfied, getting your wish fulfillment, 
everything's abundant, everything's growing for you. You can put groceries. Mad at me because I can finally afford to provide my family with groceries from the great book of B-I-G. G-I-E, <laughs> right? Okay, uh, so I don't know. Like, that's the energy I'm getting here. Like, people are pissed off at you because you can feed your kids, Gemini. I don't know what to say to people like that. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not on food stamps or if, even if I am I'm sorry that I'm providing things for my children like that's the kind of energy I'm getting people are mad at you because you're growing people are possibly mad at you too because they couldn't corrupt you like your ancestors want you to know like that's the energy that they look out for that's the energy that they watch so you don't really need to even stress yourself or worry about that you worry about your opportunities coming in you worry about the physical moves that you need to make okay the choices that you need to make that's what you need to put your energy on because your ancestors got you when it comes to the other bullshit Obviously, don't let yourself walk into traps knowingly. Yep, don't let yourself be coerced. Don't let yourself be tempted. Stick with your standards. Stick with your authenticity. Know that you're representing the line, legacy, obviously, right? Don't go, oh, well, my ancestors will block it. I don't need to worry about it. I can just walk right out in the traffic without looking. No, you still need to look, okay? Because you have a lot of people that want to come your way, and you're just out here just doing your thing right some of you you have somebody in particular that your ancestors are saving for you like they're deflecting other people so this person in particular can make their way into your life you possibly haven't met this person yet okay yeah empress status you possibly haven't met this person yet maybe you need to develop a little bit more before you do i don't know what is this um message in a bottle this opportunity that's coming from afar this communication that's coming from afar for Gemini. But the ancestors want them to know about, what is this? We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Okay, for some of you, there could be a masculine energy wanting to come forward and tell you something about a feminine energy. Um, I'm gonna have to dig into this a little bit deeper and see what this could possibly be about, but this is definitely a message coming from a masculine energy. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, doesn't have to be. This could also be somebody who is an entrepreneur or a business owner. Um, this could be somebody who travels for work or does something very creative with the wand energy. This is a king of manifest. Manifesting. So this is somebody who's very creative, charismatic, um, can sell you uh, on their, their dreams, their schemes. This is definitely somebody who is plotting or planning something or strategizing. So this could be somebody wanting you to work for them, Gemini, for sure. This could be somebody who sees your potential here. Mm hmm with the Empress wanting to kind of come out and make a fuss when I'm shuffling? Yes. This could be somebody who sees you as the Empress, male or female. Again, it's just energy. They see you as abundant. They see you as creative. They see you as somebody who can manifest a shit ton, possibly even more than them. And they're the king of manifesting. They notice that about you, that you seem to be better at it than them. So maybe they want to learn from you low key, but also offer you something. I mean, this is the king of wands. This is somebody who wants to have control. I kind of feel like all the kings want to have control in their own little way um but yeah the king of wands he wants to have control over the situation so this person is going to come to you and your ancestors once you know this they're going to come to you offering you something like this is good for you this is good for everybody but really they're they're taking something extra because they're learning something from you so it is good for you it is good for them but they're also taking extra they're not telling you about because they're learning something from you so really you they're getting more value out of this just remember that because they're learning how, you, they wanna learn your ways, like how you manifest. I'm hearing, show me your ways. Daniel San, right? <laughs> okay, Mr. Miyagi, that's what I'm getting. Like somebody feels like you, you are really like, and it's unassuming too. Like when you saw Mr. Miyagi, like you didn't really think like that old man could kick ass the way that he could, right? But he could. I damn sure wouldn't fight him. <laughs> I wouldn't fight, I don't need to be fighting nobody with my back, but yeah, I wouldn't fight them. Um, so yeah, no, I get that energy though. Like you don't carry the look of somebody who has all this talent or skill or manifesting ability, but you actually do, Gemini. And this person has noticed it. Tell me, um, ooh, I don't know. These two did just try to pop. Look at all this. It did just try to pop. Okay, so your ancestors could be telling you several things with this. This person has been kind of behind the scenes and quiet spying on you. These are two spy cards. And um, this person could have some kind of strategy 
Again, I told you they're strategizing that they could come in and try to reveal something. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is nefarious, but I don't know. With these two cards, it kind of feels like it might be. For some of them, again, they're wanting to take from you. They want to obtain something from you. This is like my conquer and pillage king right he's a dictator if he's in the negative energy okay with the king of wands this is somebody that could definitely take it there of be strategizing of ways of how to get your stuff from you this person could be working with their ancestors with that cat energy on how to do this okay so your ancestors want you to be aware of this right i told you when the ancestors show up it's always uh spiritual warfare or something going on and i feel like the, your ancestors have been kind of whispering this to you maybe giving you um thoughts or i don't know i told you a red bird sitting on your windowsill tweedle and let you yeah okay i told you about that that's what your ancestors could be kind of warning you of. This person could bring ruin to the legacy or at least set you back a couple lifetimes, okay? And with the five of swords here, yeah, you're going to have to make some kind of decision here. And I feel like you're going to stress about it. This person could have something that they feel like will get... I'm going to keep it. I feel like this person could have something that they feel like will get your attention. Because I keep hearing flashy lights by Kanye West, a fellow Gemini coming through. I do uh, get that energy though, okay? Like this person might have something they feel like they can tempt you with. Yeah, you're going to have to make an offer, but you, the offer is severe. It's not just, oh, I'm going to have to turn you down for this. It's, oh, I'm going to have to turn you down and block your number. <laughs> I don't know. That's for some of you. The death energy, you're going to have to take a final death blow uh, to something that has been trying to manipulate you for a while or pull on your energy for a while or has been again this person has been in silence i feel like very heavily watching you spying trying to figure something out mm, no gemini why what, what is this person trying to figure out in regards to gemini why are they watching gemini from a distance from the shadows they're showing me the alligator card from the Southern Gothic um, Oracle. This is why they're watching you from a distance. We already saw this card. So this person might feel like they're in a lose-lose situation in their own life. And in fact, they are giving me that energy of a coyote in a trap where, you know, the coyote will just go ahead and just chew its own leg off. Desperate times call for desperate measures, right? I get that energy from this person. Like they're desperate. Your ancestors want you to know there's somebody around you that's desperate. And so they're going to reach out to you. Okay, they've been watching you from a distance because shit in their own life is falling apart. Why? Three of Wands, because they've created it, guys. We create our own realities, right? I mean, for the most part. Yeah, we get thrown into shitty situations that we didn't create. Some of us get victimized and we get abused and things happen and like we didn't create that reality. But what we create from it, it's all on us. Okay, this person has created some kind of problem for themselves where now they have to get out of it. They see you as somebody who can provide whatever they need for that. It's probably money. I'm going to be honest with you. It's probably what it is because you're abundant as fuck with lots of more opportunities coming towards you. I told you this person sees you as fertile, sees you as abundant. This person, um, <laughs> warning, warning, right? <laughs> Alarm bells are going off. This person might try to trap you with a pregnancy. That's for somebody. It's not for everybody, but it's definitely for somebody because that's how they know. This person has definitely been watching you. They wanna kind of, I don't know, this person might wanna make a move towards you, but they might feel like they're restricted maybe by the boundaries you've put up or somebody else has put up. It always looks like there's like, chains down here on his feet even though there's not it always looks like that this person could be a water sign i feel like you've been resting you've been relaxing you've been doing good and your ancestors want you to know the whole time this person has been behind the scenes trying to disrupt something and it's because they're desperate what are they trying to disrupt what are they trying to sell gemini on what is the purpose of this right what is it well they're trying to disrupt the happiness you have they're trying to sell you on the fact i feel like that you you need to work with them provide something do something to be happy with them that everybody can be happy but really this is a betrayal ten of swords for some of you this could be a masculine energy this could definitely be romantic this person has been behind the scenes spying on you trying to come up a way to strategize to come closer with to you because there's some kind of boundary restriction either on their end or your end maybe this person has something going on already 
okay? It happens more often than you would think. With the Five of Swords here, I get this energy of um, this person feeling like they're in a lose-lose situation within their own life, maybe because shit's crashing down, maybe because they're realizing that they can't forget about you or leave you alone. I don't know, because this one's looking like, I don't know what happened, right? <laughs> I, I just got here. Anyways. <laughs> There's this energy of somebody like, I don't know, at their wit's end when it comes to something. This person might have, this person might be in the energy of like, I know that this shit has gone too far. I mean, look at these two. Like, they're like, we know that shit has gone way past what it's supposed to. And this one's like, yes, more chaos, more distraction, right? It's not funny, but it kind of is like there might be a ringleader in this person's life that is like, or it's this person, Gemini, but I don't get that. I'm getting strongly that this person's more like this. I don't know, guys. This is some karmic ass shit. <laughs> That's what this, this feels like. That's what this sounds like. And I am just like, what? <laughs> okay, guys, let's get some advice. Lord, please. <laughs> Can we get some advice on this? We're going to use the Southern Gothic Oracle since it flashed in my head during the reading, right? Just be aware of this. Just be cognizant of this. That yeah. Oh, wait. I did want to ask one more thing. What's the message going to be that they're going to send? What is this message in a bottle specifically going to be? The ancestors need Gemini to know. What is this message in a bottle specifically going to be? Hierophant. This could be a commitment. It came out in reverse, so this could be somebody wanting you to, to let you know that they're leaving a commitment. If that applies, let it fly. I don't know, right? Um, for some of you, this could be um, some kind of contractual agreement or something like that. With the Page of Wands, there's like this energy of like a fresh start, a zest for life with the Page of Wands, right? So yeah, this person could be trying to come in and basically tell you that they're leaving something that was restricting them behind and now um, they're available. I don't know. This could be business. It could be love. It could be anything. Take it as it resonates. For some of you, what the message is, is they want to try to offer you some kind of contract or some kind of arrangement. But I feel like, again, they're desperate. So if this is a work situation and they're trying to offer you some kind of contract, your ancestors want you to know, Gemini, this motherfucker desperate. He's depending on, he, she is depending on your abilities and your skills, period, to pull this off, honey. Okay, so you are the last resort. Like, you are it, okay? So, and this person might not sell it that way. This person might be like, oh, we got all the resources. We got all the money. We got all the investors and the buyers and the clients and the, you know. <laughs> sorry, this person's so full of shit. I'm sorry, but they are. Anyways. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Just beware. <laughs> there is a, yeah, yeah miss that miss that miss that message okay there's a skeezy ass car salesman greasy energy lurking around you gemini all right <laughs> advice please for this reading oh my god we're at what 32 minutes hell no nah. advice wow that's crazy yeah dashed hopes morning right for some of you guys this is the energy that you've been in ancestors are here this is uh the energy that you've been in Oh, I've missed something. I've missed out on something. I've missed an opportunity. There's regrets here, right? But your ancestors are saying no. What's what hasn't worked out has actually worked out. Like I say all the time, new opportunities are coming. You're gonna have to let something down though, or let something go. And maybe that is also what this card is saying too. The advice is to know that sometimes we have to say goodbye to things. Sometimes we have to, you know, to let go of things. Sometimes we have to make tough choices. Because there is a tough choice here and it might feel like Gemini that one does stand to lose or you do stand to lose no matter what you choose. If I choose this path, I lose what's on this path. If I choose the other path, I lose what's on this path. Like either way, I'm going to lose something and both things have something of value, but you're going to have to decide what's more valuable. Okay. You're going to have to stand. You're going to have to decide what you can't stand to lose because you're going to have to lose something. So you're gonna have to understand what you can't stand to lose and then choose that, okay, Gemini? And this is a spiritual lesson. This is a spiritual choice being card number 16 that reduces to seven. What else do we have for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. Okay, the advice. What do we have? Advice, advice wise. We have black eyed peas coming out and this is interesting because I always told myself if it came back out I was going to mention it. Somebody had mentioned it in the comments and she watches regularly. So hey girl, I know you'll see this. 
Um, she had mentioned in the comments that this could be used as like a time indicator too, this card, because Black Eyed Peas, it's true. It's a, a tradition for not everybody obviously in the world, but for a lot of us, myself included, it's a tradition to eat Black Eyed Peas with like rice or cabbage or ham hocks, whatever. Um, New Year's because it's like to get good luck for the new coming year, okay? There's this, even this thing of saying like, you having bad luck, like, oh, somebody didn't eat their black eyed peas, right? So this could be saying that, like to, that around January, around the new year, you're gonna see some kind of significant change or you're gonna see some kind of stroke of luck that's gonna happen for you or something is gonna work out or, or happen the way it needs to. And that's what I'm getting here because you are at a conundrum about something. Maybe by um, the new year, you're going to have made this decision. And then you're going to see that this has prospered for you, Gemini. Card 33, a master number. Okay, but 33 could be showing up in your life too, or triple threes even. For some of you, with wealth and prosperity, this is just saying you have a lot more to worry about than these hating ass people that seem to be so pressed about you. You have a lot more to lose, right? So you need to make sure that your head's in the game. And these kind of deep thoughts that we saw in the beginning of, am I, am, I this, am I the light? Am I the dark? Am I some kind of weird mixture? These are the things that your ancestors want you to focus on. Your internal clock, your internal compass. That's the only thing besides spirit that should really truly guide you. And which it is spirit. Your internal clock and compass is spirit, right? Spirit is everything. So, you know, there is this energy here of like, that's what you need to focus on. Know that you have a legacy to fulfill here. And I know that you do, but they always want to give you that gentle reminder in the readings. It's like their time to shine and that's what they're here for, is to protect, help you protect the legacy. You give a lot, Gemini. And if you don't feel like you give enough, please don't be the martyr. Nobody likes it. It's not cute. You give a lot. And maybe you stand to give even less. Maybe you should give less. I don't know. You know, you gauge that, right? But with these people that come back from the past, okay, the rebirth energy, this card in particular is like a Six of Cups card for me. If you read the instructions or the, I don't know, the description of this card, it talks about people coming back from the past specifically. Um, but it also talks about the dogwood being the wood that was used to crucify Jesus. So sacrifices on this card as well. And that actually lines up perfectly with this cornbread of humility and generosity. You, again, give too much. You sacrifice. Some of you, even the ultimate sacrifice like Jesus did, right? The ultimate sacrifice for whatever that is in your life, your situation. For others of you, maybe there has to be some kind of ultimate sacrifice in that way. Because I told you there's going to be something over here that's going to have to get missed, okay? Just know that you are being communicated with in your intuition, your dreams, the synchronicities, the signs, the messages that you're getting. You can believe those, Gemini. Yep. Influence and support. Your ancestors are working directly with you to influence and support you. Understand, too, that the, the connections that you have around you influence and support you as well. So while they do their part, you have to do your part here on the physical. Make sure that you are aligned with energies that are um, in alignment with you, okay? Make sure you're not trying to hold on to toxic shit because of comfort zones or whatever, of loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty, yes. Make sure you're not trying to do that. Make sure you know what your loyalty is. What are you loyal to? And where do you feel like you, your sense of belonging is? Because with a lot of you, you know what you need to do. There is this energy maybe for some of you of, do I stay on this chosen path? Do I get off? That's for some of you guys. Or can I weird? Can I live some kind of weird mixture of both? I feel like living a weird mixture of both is still being on your path. I feel like getting off of your path is still really being on your path. Your soul's journey is your soul's journey. It's never going to look a certain way. When you choose to step back in to the light and go back onto the chosen, the energy of the chosen one, the energy of fulfilling these things, then, okay, that's going to be continuing on your path. You see what I'm saying? Because we can be both the light and the dark. It's the choice is us. We have the free will. You can be born the chosen one and feel like you're not given a choice because all this bad things and karma and sicknesses and things happen to you. Yeah, because you are the chosen one and you made this spiritual contract, so you need to fulfill this. But you can still choose not to. But when you choose not to, all the power gets taken away. All the blessings get taken away. All the defense and the protection gets taken away. But also there's the sacrifice of being the chosen one because now you're different. You're not the same as everybody else. You can't live the same as everybody else. You can't do the same things everybody else does. 
and you do have to uh, learn the hard lessons. And when you do mess up, <laughs> you are reprimanded more severely than other people. You will lose blessings. Like, you know this, okay? So you have to make, if you're, if that resonates for somebody who's at that point where they're trying to decide, do I stay on this path? Do I get off? What do I do? Just know the severity of your actions and just know that when you walk away from something, you walk away from everything. When you walk towards it, you walk towards everything. There is no riding the fence in that aspect. But I do believe that you can have some kind of duality in your life. Your whole life doesn't have to be about spirituality, but you can know that you're spiritually driven. Okay, I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, I hope the reading helps, too. It was a little bit of a longer reading for us today. I was a little bit more chatty. So I hope that you don't mind that. <clears throat> but I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. I love you, Gemini. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.